Okay, first up we have the main controller unit. Ah, oh, see the model is BLU uh, for Blue Guard. XIM MCU02. This must be the second revision of their main controller unit. Okay, input which uh, you can use the power adapter over here is 12 volt, 1 ampere. That means, which means this particular unit is just using around probably 500 milliampere to 700 milliampere. Okay, and then oh, it has a battery. You see here, it says battery 3.7 volt, 5,200 milliamp. Okay, so that means if you calculate this out, this should have a standby time of around eight hours once the battery is being cut off. Ah, this is a very good feature. Okay, because a lot of the home security system is dead as soon as the power is cut off right okay however since this particular thing is connected to the internet if your internet is uh, you know on the same power grid and it doesn't have any battery backup well i guess uh, nothing is going to be streamed online once the power is cut okay all right so you have your LAN port here power plug here that's the pin for the reset okay and other than that, nothing much. Okay, let's tear this out. Whoa, new unit, okay? Ah, this is so nice, okay? So you have your power and link LED status, okay? Right, looks good, okay? Hmm, well, there's no hanging pot. So probably this one is installed and placed right on the table. The main controller unit is of course running uh, on wirelessly to all your other sensors and uh, after getting the feedback or the data or the camera feedback into uh, the main controller unit, it will then send um, your feed through LAN into uh, the cloud, right? And the wireless frequency that this uh, main controller unit is connecting to your sensors it's running on 921 megahertz, okay? 921 megahertz, which is actually the uh, European standard. Okay. It's 921 megahertz, which is actually the European standards for frequency, and it's also part of the frequency that is approved here in Malaysia, okay? Right, let's look at the sensors. Okay, next we're gonna look at this one, which is uh, your indoor siren unit. Okay, if it's labeled as indoor siren, I guess they have another uh, optional module for outdoor, right? Okay, so the indoor siren module, the model is BLU XIM IS02. Okay, again, I think this is the revision 2. Either that or because all this is uh, under the W2 model grouping, so that's why all this is labeled as 02. Okay. Physically, okay, it's not really very big. You can see there's a Puzio uh, buzzer here for the siren. There's your battery door, okay, which you can attach. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's quite tight. Okay, four double A batteries, which are generously provided in the box. Okay, you can put them here. Ah, there's also power plug if you want to install it not wirelessly or you don't need it to be mobile to carry it everywhere. Uh, power adapter is provided. From the look of it, it is uh, 5 volt only, 1 ampere, which means you can actually power it using a uh, power bank as well. All right. The specification for this one, okay, the buzzer has a maximum uh, loudness of 110 dB not too bad okay the whole unit is said to be IP44 and now this is the most important part if you're running on batteries okay fresh batteries it's supposed to last for two years and that is tested with 10 triggers per day wow I don't want 110 dB to trigger 10 times a day uh. burning man all right so, and then uh, the other things is like operating uh, humidity, it says to be 10 to 80%, which is good for Malaysia. And then, yeah, anything uh, around 50 degrees Celsius and below is good. Okay. Next, we have this particular one. Okay. This is the uh, motion sensor. It uses PIR. 
okay very simple that's your mounting point okay and that's this little button here okay we are going to take a look at that later so your mounting point you can actually if you want just mount it directly to the wall however PIR sensors is best for you to direct it to where you think uh, motion will be detected right okay so they give you this particular mounting thingy so this is your mounting stand okay put that in you can drill this part to the wall and now you can adjust okay where is it facing okay usually we have it in the corner of the room and then we adjust this to be covering you know the entire room all right let's look at the specification this particular one okay it has three batteries oh which is included i think that's what this is for let me see press this and i think ah see the latch can be open oh okay aha uh -huh. there that's the battery and oh look at that clicky little switch okay so this is the temper detection switch so as long as you open the cover okay i think the app will know and then uh, well it's going to alert you right it's anticipated to have two years of lifespan okay and it says to have the operating range of 200 meters yeah, which means your main controller unit can be on the second floor, right? And uh, this uh, motion sensor can be downstairs and, and it still can work. Reset button. And this is of course currently, well, it's not activated yet. You pull this tab and uh, the battery will start functioning. Hmm. Very nice build. Okay, shiny quality, blue guard security. Okay, next let's look at this piece, which is your remote. Okay, has four buttons. This is the LED, and oh, that's your battery tray. Okay, it uses a CR2032. Nice, and it's provided. Okay, lock it in. Okay, so these four buttons, it's actually your arm and this arm. Okay. So let's say you're in the house, you can put this arm and uh, siren will not blare when you open the door or the windows, okay? And when you arm it, you actually have 30 seconds to exit before the alarm is activated, okay? There's also a button for that, that looks like a camera. So when you press that, it's going to start recording on all the cameras that you have, okay? Just in case, you know, you're upstairs and you hear some sound downstairs, before uh, and just in case you wanted it to record something if it's not auto recording you can press this button okay and this one is your panic button if you press and hold for five seconds your alarm will start sounding all right basic nice but it's a very nice uh, feature and uh, device to have all right so one is included you can actually pair up to more if you want to all right and of course this is running on the 9 to 1 megahertz frequency and it has a range of 150 meters right okay next up is the door and window sensor right so on the part the older unit the door and the window sensor is slightly different this particular one they are actually the same okay let me see any difference nope seems to be the same all right Basically, the door and window sensor, the features or functions are the same. You put them together, your alarm is not activated. You pull them apart, your alarm is activated. Okay, so you install them at the door, a window. Okay, or you can even install them in your drawers. Okay, the door of your safe, the door of your cupboard, if you want to. Right, as long as they are apart, alarm will sound. All right. So this particular one, yes, the batteries are included as well. It's a CR2032 on the sensor unit. Sensor runs on 921 megahertz frequency, of course, so that it can connect to the main controller units. And it has a range of 150 meters, right? Simple, straightforward. Last but not least in your box, well, you will have all this double-sided tape, Okay, mounting screws, 
wall plug and also your LAN cable alright your user manual and your quick start guide is available you can also find PDF versions of them online or just get it from your sales agent So here you go, all the items that are in the box for the W2 wireless system, okay, your home security system. So for installation, you can do it DIY way, which I will show you in the next video, or you can just contact your sales agent uh, to send someone to install it for you, all right? So for more info to purchase or you want to know more about the product, please contact Integrated iTaxis via the email display here and for other accessories shown here you can contact them too thank you and see you again